The topic that we are going to look today is percentages. Before start solving lot of the problems in percentages, let's understand the basic and basic concepts that's falling in percentages. So first, the name suggests percentages, which is nothing but percent, which is nothing but per hundred. So your denominator will always be hundred in a percentages. That's what is the main meaning of percentages. So what do you call the numerator here? Numerator, we call it as rate percent. So that's why if you get something like 10% or something, this always calls you a numerator. We tell it as 10%, 20%. Let's solve a couple of small problems. What is 20%? Just now we discussed. 20% 20 is nothing but 20 by 100. 3 is what percent of 60? They are asking 3 is what percent of 60? So 3 by 60 into 100 which is nothing but 25. So 5%. 3 is nothing but 5% of 60. This is the basic concept in percentage. You should understand why are we dividing it by 100. Let's understand the another concept of fraction into percentages and percentage into fraction. So this next concept is convert percentages into fraction and fraction into percentage. It's a very simple concept. So, in percentages to fraction, what do we do? We divide it by 100. In case of fraction into percentages, we multiply it by 100. To understand this concept better, let's solve a simple problem. What is the fraction of 20%? So, they are asking you to convert the 20% into fraction. What do we do it? 20% is nothing but 20 divided by 100. So, which is nothing but 1 by 5. So, 20% we have converted into 1 by 5. Here, fraction into percentages where we multiply into 100. So, they are asking us to convert 1 by 5 into a percentage. So, what do we do? Into 100, which is nothing but 20%. So, in this case, we take 1 by 5 is converted into 20%. So, if you see, we have taken the same question in both the cases. This is nothing but the vice versa of that. So, percentage into fraction, we are con converting 20% into fraction, which is nothing but 1 by 5. Here, we are converting fraction into percentages, which is nothing but 1 by 5 into 20. So, these are the basic concepts you should know before solving the sums in percentages. So, the second part is that you should first memorize it from 1 by 1 to 1 by 10. So, 1 by 1 is nothing but 100, 1 by 2 is 50%, 1 by 3 is 33.33%, 1 by 4 is 25, 1 by 5 is 20%, 1 by 6 is 16.66, 6, 1 by 7 is 14.28 and so on till 1 by 10 where this is useful. Let's take a question. You could have find these questions a lot in lot of aptitude examination. They will ask what is 33.33% of 180. So if you are a person who didn't know any of this, what you have to do? You have to just find the elaborate method like 33.33 divided by 100 into 180. That's just very elaborate method and it's very time consuming in case of an aptitude exam. So if you are a person who knows uh, all these tables by by heart, you will know directly 33.33 is nothing but 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 into 180 which is nothing but 60. So directly you know it is 60. Let's solve another problem. So they have asked us what is 14.28 of 350. So instead of taking the elaborate method of 14.28 divided by 100 into 350, you know 14.28 is nothing but 1 by 7. So directly you will take 1 by 7 into 350 and it's nothing but 50 here. So this is the main reason of knowing these things. It's very simple to remember. So if you remember this, most of the percentage problems can be solved within 5-6 seconds. So let's understand the other three basic problems that you might face in a percentages problem. So the first concept is X is what percent of Y? This is a very basic problem you will see in any aptitude exam. This means it's nothing but X by Y of 100. Let's take a simple example. 50 is what percentage of 100? So it's nothing but 50 by 100 into 100, nothing but 50%. So let's go to the next concept. So the second type is nothing but x is increased by certain percentage. So find the new value of x. This is another common simple problem that we face in percentage. How to do that? Let's take for example, x is increased by 50%. We know 50% is nothing but 1 by 2. So it is increased by 1 by 2, which is nothing but 3 by 2 of the x value. 
Let's understand this concept with a simple example. So x value they have given it as 200. It is increased by 20%. What is the new value of x? 20% is nothing but 1 by 5. So it's increased by 1 by 5. Which is nothing but 6 by 5 of x. We know the value of x is 200. So 6 by 5 into 200. Equal 40. Just 240. So the new value of x is nothing but 240. Let's go to the next type. Third type is nothing but x is decreased by certain percent. Let's take the same example. Let's take the x is decreased by 50 percent. We know that 50 percent is nothing but 1 by 2. What do we do here? In increased, we add it. Here, we have to subtract it. So 1 minus 1 by 2 is nothing but the same 1 by 2 of x. So let's understand this with an example. Same example we are taking, but here the only change is x value is decreased by 20%. So 20% is nothing but 1 by 5. So what do we do? 1 minus 1 by 5, which is nothing but 5 minus 1, 4, 4 by 5 of x. So 4 by 5 of 200, which is nothing but 40 here and 160. So if the x is decreased by 20%, the new value of x is nothing but 160. The topic that we are going to look today is percentages and it is a part 2. In part 1 of percentages, we dealt about the basic concept of percentages and then the three type of problems that you will face in a percentage problem. Following to that, we are going to see a concept in percentages, nothing but salary problem. This is a common type of problem which you will see in an aptitude exam. Let's get started. So the first question is, Kanish's salary is 20% more than Ashok. Then what percentage of Ashok's salary is less than Kanish? So what they are given in the question, Kanish's salary is 20% more. which is nothing but 1 by 20 by 100 more than Ashok. So this can be rewritten as 100 plus 20 by 100 which is nothing but 120 by 100A. Which can be written as K is equal to 12 by 10A. So Kanishk is equal to 12 by 10 of A. So the question that they have asked is what percentage of Ashok's salary is less than Kanishk? So we will write it in the form of A here. A is equal to 10 by 12 of K. So initially Ashok's salary was 1. Now we are going to reduce it by 10 by 12 of k. So 1 minus 10 by 12 which is nothing but 12 minus 10 by 12 which is nothing but 2 by 12, 1 by 6. So as we know in the first part of percentages, I was telling you the importance of learning the fractions from 1 by 1 to 1 by 9. So 1 by 6 is nothing but 16.66. So, we know that Ashok's salary is 16.66% less than Kanishk. So, let's solve another problem to understand this concept better. So, the second question is similar to the first one. What they have say, A salary is 50% more than B. What percentage of B salary is less than A? So, how we do it? A salary is 50% more, which is nothing but 1 by 50 by 100, which is nothing but of B. So, a is equal to 150 by 100 of B, which can be rewritten as A is equal to 15 by 10 of B. This can also be written as B is equal to 10 by 15 of A. So, what they have given in the question, what percentage of B salary is less than A? So, that's what we have to find out now. So, how to find this? So, B salary was initially 1. We are going to subtract it from 1. So, 1 minus 10 by 15 which is nothing but 15 minus 10 by 15, nothing but 5 by 15, which can be written as 1 by 3. So, 1 by 3 is what? 33.33%. So, as we know that B salary is 33.33% less than of A. So, in this concept, we are talking only about the salary problem. Similar way, they will be asking like 50% less than B. In that case, what you will do, instead of plus, you will be putting a subtraction sign here and do the same way in which we did. So, this is a common type of problem when you will face in an aptitude exam. The topic that we are going to look today is percentages. So, in this video, we will be dealing with various other concepts of percentages which will be useful for your aptitude exam. So, the first concept we are going to talk about, this problem is very common where they are going to ask about the expenditure rate or consumption. Let's see how we can do it. So, we know the basic formula, expenditure is equal to rate into consumption. So, we should know this formula by heart. So, what is the question? The rate of the commodity is increased by 50%. 
what percentage of consumption we have to reduce so that the expenditure is constant. This type of problem you can commonly see in the aptitude exam where either one of it is increased and they will ask you how much percentage has to be reduced so that everything remains constant. So let's get started. We know that expenditure is equal to rate into consumption. What they have given in the question? Rate of the commodity is increased by 50%. So 50% is nothing but 1 by 2. In our previous videos, if you have seen, we have told that the importance of knowing these 1 by 2 till 1 by 9 percentages in by heart. You should know this very by heart because instead of wasting time, you can directly write it here. So 50% is nothing but 1 by 2. So it is increased by 1 by 2 into what percentage of consumption we have to reduce. So that's the next part of the question. So consumption is as such. So expenditure is equal to, it can be written as 3 by 2 R into C. So that is the equation that we have got. So the second part of the question, what they are asking, what percentage of consumption we have to reduce so that the overall expenditure is constant. Here the consumption is 1. Correct. So how we can make sure that the expenditure also be same. Here you can see the overall equation has been increased by 50%. It can be become equal only if consumption become 3 by 2 of R into 2 by 3 of C where these gets cancelled and the original equation again retains. So how do we do that? Initially it was 1. Now we are making sure it becomes 2 by 3. So 1 minus 2 by 3 which is nothing but 3 minus 2 by 3 which is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is nothing but what? 33.33 percent. So the consumption has to reduce by 33.33 percent in order to make sure the expenditure remains constant. So hope you understand. How did we do that? We know that expenditure is equal to rate into consumption. Rate we increased by 50%. To make the overall equation constant, we know that we have to multiply the equation by 2 by 3 so that everything gets cancelled and becomes the first equation. So once it's done, the initial consumption was 1. Now it has been reduced to 2 by 3. So the 1 minus 2 by 3 is nothing but 1 by 3. 1 by 3 directly we know as 33.33% and that's how we found the value of this. Let's go to the next question. So the next question that they have given is two numbers are greater than the third number by 25% and 20% respectively. So what percentage of first number is in the second number? So what we are going to assume is the third number as 100. So what they have given first number is greater by 25%. So first is nothing but 25% of 100 is nothing but 125. Similarly, the second number is greater than by 20%. So, it becomes 120. So, we know the first number, second number and the third number. So, what are they asking in the question? What percentage of first number is in the second number? First number is 125 divided by the second number is 120 and the percentage of it. 0, 0 cancel, 5, 6, 125 into 5 is 625 divided by 6 which is approximately 104%. So how did we do that? When you find these kind of questions, what do you have to do? You have to assume a single number as 100 and based on that, you can find out the other two numbers and once you know all the three numbers, you can easily find the percentage of it. Let's go to the next sum. So in the next sum, we should understand this formula here. If a value is increased by A% percent and B%, percent, then the overall resultant value, you have to use this formula A plus B plus AB by 100. So let's take an example to understand this. So length is increased by 10% and breadth is increased by 20%. So they are asking you to find the change in the area of the rectangle. So we know the value of A which is 10% and value of B which is 20%. Now just substitute it in the formula. A plus B plus AB by 100 is the formula. So it becomes 10 plus 20 plus 10 into 20 by 100. So it becomes 30 plus 2 which is 32. So the percentage change in the area of rectangle is nothing but 32%. You can come across a lot of sum which can ask you to find the change in the particular value. So what do we have to do is very easy to find out. You can just remember this formula to find the answer for that. In today's video, we understood two concepts. One is finding the change in the value of the percentage and the rate and expenditure problem. If you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.